crowd like trash Can you hear the crowd roar? They're calling your name They're feeling your game Gentlemen, welcome your hosts, Balale and Joseph. Good evening, West Africa. Good evening, everyone. My name is Joseph Benjamin. And I am Balale Olukani. Welcome to Project Fame West Africa, brought to you by MTN. Awesome. Now, this is the last elimination night for the season, but of course, there will be no actual eliminations as the show is coming to its natural end tomorrow. So, Balale, what do we have lined up for us tonight? Well, West Africa, as you know, all season long, we have been thrilled by our contestants with songs from everywhere. But tonight, they are going to be performing their own personal compositions, and I don't know about you guys, but I am very excited to hear what it's going to sound like. Yep. But before we get there, ladies and gentlemen, let's dash back to last week's nomination show and relieve the moment when our finalists thrilled us to duets and evergreen Nigerian tunes. The highlights? Let's see. In tonight's show, the contestants will first perform duets and secondly cover versions of some evergreen sounds by popular Nigerian musicians from way back. We are about to present to you someone who had a dream. And tonight, her dream is becoming a reality. We we'll present to you the famous the Lako. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Okemute and the winner singing Possibility by P Square featuring Two Face. You are my African king, the man of my dreams. You took me where I've never been. You make my heart a ding a ding a ding. mind-blowing moments, but that's just my opinion. But if you've ever wondered how the contestants and maybe even the faculty and the judges feel about this, have you guys wondered? All right, we're going to let you find out. Check this out. Season nine, one of the seasons where everything just appeared slow like the recession, but eventually it paid off. I guess when the first elimination happened, they all woke up to say, wow, this is really for real. Uh, it was a season where I had to be a judge on the show. www.dazzle.com It was a first for me and um, quite an interesting episode. Honestly, I have grown on the show as well. And I've seen contestants grow as weeks 
went by and I have grown even as a person and as a choreographer on the show. And I found that the very last performance, the, the incredible emoting from their faces, they were so in character, that for me was a high point. My high point, I was so excited when Files came on the show! Yes, yes. I mean, I was like a child with a lollipop. Well, one of the special highlights for me on this show was when um, Perry was performing to his mother. My high points of the show would be when the contestants made me cry. And it was just so much love pouring out from them and I just couldn't contain myself. The most painful eviction for me was Steve's. Steve? Steve, Steve. Steve was just such an incredible singer. He has such a fantastic persona. And a lovely, lovely person. Oh, emergency, emergency, you never see me coming through. Our top six. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you our finalists. Winner, Perry, Okemote, Kite, Elizabeth, and Jacko. I can't deny that they've walked their selves off to be where they are today. They are on top of the world. They believe to be on, on top of the world. There's a kind of sense of entitlement at the moment. Amazing bunch, different kinds of voices. Amazing to watch, amazing to listen to. I'm glad. I'm glad they are the ones there. They're destined to be in the final. And um, it's for written for them, it's what is meant to happen in their life. I wish them the very best. I wish them all success in their chosen careers. Here we are, top six who are absolutely great. of the Super Six. I am proud of them and uh, I wish them all the best. A woman must win this season, should win this season because, I mean, that's the reason why we have women. Who is supposed to win when you win? God bless you when you win. They are like our legacy and I think they will do well. Brilliant, and now let's welcome the faculty. Starting the academy principal, Joke Silva. <laughs> Music director, Ben Ogbewi. <laughs> Voice coach, Ige. <laughs> Dance instructor, Love It. And on the other side, we have our judges, starting, of course, with Mr. Rich and Famous Praise. And the elegant and beautiful B.B. Brew. Thank you very much. <laughs> and our producer extraordinaire, T.Y. Mix. And of course, we say a huge thank you to some very, very special people. They have been with us from the beginning of the season, watching online, coming to our live shows, supporting contestants of blows and voting. Out. We love you guys. Now, even though we are rounding off the season, it's never too late to join this wonderful family of supporters. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and get exclusive Project Fame content on our website is www.projectfamewestafrica.com. That's right. Now moving on, during the course of the season, we open our doors to people who are interested in not only finding out what happens on stage, but also what happens behind the scenes. That's right. We got a lot of responses. Only a few made it into our prestigious production team as interns. And tonight, we celebrate them and the contributions that they've made to the success of the show. A round of applause as we bring them on stage, guys. Thank you very much, our four interns. Keep your applause going, come on. Thank you. That's right. Hi, guys.
Brilliant. All right, very quickly, do you want to introduce yourselves? Starting from My name is Olumide Adewi. Awesome. I'm Omo Omi Lawson. I'm Joshua Agboke. And I'm Uzachi Achumba. Okay. Okay, do you have any words for us? How has the experience been? Anything you want to share? Anything you want to say to us, to the yeah. people? On behalf of my colleagues and I, we say a very big thank you to MTN and Ultima Studios for giving us the opportunity to learn and to see how Project Fame is being put together as a TV show in Nigeria. That's it. All right. All right, thank you guys. I'm glad that you guys had a great experience. Now we're gonna take a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we get to listen to the personal composition of our amazing six contestant. It's gonna be amazing. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Great. Welcome back. Now, with the backing of renowned Nigerian producer Kobam Zasuko, our contestants have come up with their own hits. Now, it's time for us to enjoy. Kicking off the show tonight, ladies and gentlemen, let's start off with Winner singing her own personal composition, Let It Go. A round of applause for her as she comes here. Hello, sweet people of West Africa. It's your girl, Winner. And I'm going to be doing a song tonight titled Let It Go, which was composed by me. I wish that we could care some more. I wish we'd give more to the poor. It was inspired by a book I read, which says, the worst thing that can happen to a man is not when he dies, but is when he lost his hope while he's still living. So it's, I want to dedicate this song to you guys out there. That think there is no hope for those, for you, who think you cannot make it, who think that's all for you. I want to tell you, no, you still have hope. There's still help in hand. Just hold on and it'll be fine for you guys. I love you so much. And I hope that when you guys listen to me, I would be among those on the wall of fame. Thank you very much. God bless you. When the power of love overcomes the love of power, then and only then will this world know peace. could care some more I wish would give more to the poor I wish we could all see how great it is to share so much peace you'll find down there so let it go
Well done, girl. Well done. <laughs> Judges, your thoughts. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> thank you for giving us the opportunity yeah. to discover you. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to share with you and grow with you and watch you grow. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to hear you. This is beautiful. This is what it's all about. And, you know, any way it swings, you have to know winner. All of you are winners, but this is absolutely beautiful. That's your own composition. Every single word meant something, and that is beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Faculty. Hey, Rina. I was just going to say that your name is really working for you. <laughs> Truthfully, because you see, I think... Nobody really gave you a chance. And I just want to say thank you so much, judges, for saving her. Thank you. Because they saw something in you, we see something in you, and you came back into this competition, and you worked hard. And thank you for reminding us to be human once again, mm. to give to the poor. Thank you for reminding us that there's enough for every need and not for every greed. Nigeria, I, I hope you're listening. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you so much, winner. God bless you. Thank you very and much. And you look Rose. amazing. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Okay. We're off on a good start. Up next to perform is Kite singing his own personal composition titled Free. Hello, West Africa. It's your favorite boy, Kite, the one and only microphone militant of Warriland. And I'm here in Project Fame. Uh, I'll be performing my personal composition titled Free. And the song talks about me accepting the fact that I have offended some group of people. And I'm apologizing and at the same time telling them that, yes, I know I wronged you guys, but please forgive, 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 forgive me so that I can be free. And I just hope that this song makes me the winner of Project Fame season nine. And at the end of the season, my picture will be here and I will join the extraordinary leagues of champion, Yaya. The rest, all of them there, I understand. So I just want to say thank you to you all. A big thank you to all of my fans out there. I love you. I agree, say I know perfect, he no mean say, now we be bad. I be man, I get my flaws, why you come, they judge me like you be gone. Even God still the love, when we know the answer to his word. I know, say I day wrong, forgive me, make I for free. Why they come, they carry me for mine. Why they come they hold me for her? Hey, why them they act like say kids and all they try? Yo. Them they behave like say I know they walk. Oh, why you put my name for your black book? Oh. Go, go. Now this thing where you they do, they make me cold Because even God still they love when we know the answer to his word I know say I they wrong, forgive me, make I for free But why you come they carry me for my Tell me why them still they hold me for heart oh. 
drinking like say I know they try oh. Don't give me neck like Then they act like say kids eh, no big person Don't give me neck like Hey, why them they do me like this oh. Don't give me neck like I know say I don't you no be lie They call it me for my My mama Flora Why them call they call it me For heart so Hey why them come They hold me for my Hey why them come They hold me for heart Hey why them They treat me like Say I know me best you know. Why them they do me like this Every day But you know me say, now me be bad. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Whoa! <laughs> uh, this is a plan to set me up, right? So I wouldn't know what to say, right? Does it get any better than this? My lord. Kite, that was an outstanding performance and very, very pure and true. Yeah. Let's hear it again for Kite people. Well done, buddy. Well done. Praise. I know you were beside yourself <laughs> yeah, yeah. while he was performing. I know. No. You can't wait to say something. I can't. I can't. I can't. From the first day I sat on this seat, I saw you in the final. Mm. It's just the truth. The first day I sat here, mm. you could ask judges, I saw you in the final. This composition is true. Everybody seated here can connect to what you're saying. And that's what makes a hit song. Bro, you killed it tonight. Great, great guys. Okay, let's still bring it back home. Faculty, your thoughts, please. Apart from the fact that a song, well, this song actually carries a lot of character. I mean, your connect was off the chain, off the charts, off everything. Mm. You see, season nine is unbelievable because they are talking about the situation of the human race and everything that is meant to be fixed. And Kite, you carry that energy around you like solar power and you give it to all of us and here we are, we appreciate you. I, I endorse this song as one of the evergreen on.
on the collection works of Ultima Studios. Congratulations, <laughs> men. You have done well. Absolutely. Oh, I can get out of here now, Keith. <laughs> Okay, it keeps getting better, of course. It's a proof of the fact that the Academy has been on top of their game. That's right, another round of applause for these amazing guys, ladies and gentlemen. They've churned out amazing superstars. All right, the third performance tonight is coming from Perry, and he's gonna be singing his own personal composition titled, I Do. A round of applause for him. Hello, good people of West Africa, Nigeria, Bielsa, Lagos. Um, today I'm going to be doing a song titled I Do, composed by yours truly. This song was inspired by all the beautiful marriages I've seen, particularly that of my parents, you know. Um, they made me understand that marriage is um, a very sacred institution and it's for better, for worse. Um, this song is dedicated to everybody who has someone out there, somebody special that they'd like to get married to. Um, I'd just like to let you know that marriage is such a beautiful thing. You should have no worry getting into it. Um, I hope by the time I'm done performing this song, you're going to love it so much and it's going to inspire you to help me join the League of Exceptional Superstars like Inyanya, Chidima, Mike, Ayola and the likes. I love you all. Thank you. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. We go always there together, through cold and stormy weather. We no go leave each other. I want to marry you, me and you go stick like glue. I want to be the only man to care for you. Cause all I want to hear you say is I do My love I no go ever leave you Now me and you go stick like glue No matter what them say or do All I really need to hear you say is I do And me go love you, love you scatter Regardless of the time or matter You go always be my little tata All I really need to hear you say is I do Oh, 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 oh I go love you still forever. I go proudly be a baby papa. Say the hear me like We go day through food and hunger. Even if there's rain and thunder, no worry, our love na big umbrella. Hey, cause I'm in love with you. Me and you go stick like glue. I wanna be the only man that shares with you. Hey, cause all I need you say I do, my love I no go ever leave you. Now me and you go stick like glue. No matter what them say or do, all I really need to hear you say I do. Now only me feel love you scatter. Regardless of the time or matter, you go always be my little tata. All I really need to hear you say I do. I do, I really do, I really, 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 really do I do. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do All I really need to hear you say I promise it We go grow old together And I'll always give you The last meet you Now me and you We were made for each other And you stay beautiful Even without your city oh, oh. Stick like glue 
you go always be my little daughter. All I really need to hear you say is I do. I promise to always love you. I go proudly be your best number two. No matter what them say or do. All I really need to hear you say is I do. I do. We've just gotten ourselves the next big wedding song for 2017. That's right. That's right. I do, I do, I do, I do. Well done, man. Like that reggae mix up in there, man. And I see Praise was just bumping his head to it. Like, oh, yes, that's it. That's it, man. Take it home. See why I was just smiling. What did you guys think? What did you guys think about that song? Well, the truth is, um, I personally think that the subject matter that has to do with love, uh, marriage, you know, they're very serious things, you know. But what I liked about what you did tonight is that you made it very playful, you know. You made love very accessible, you know. You made it very refreshing, you know. I like, yes. <laughs> I, I really do like what you've done tonight. What'd you say? Yes, maybe you say you're going to be playing all the marriages because, you know, it's, it's playful. It's playful, it's genuine. And I also like the fact that, you know, your lyrics make a lot of sense. You know, I can write it in a book and read it, read it to myself and actually smile. It makes a lot of sense. I like your play, the way you were able to play with words as well. Beautiful, beautiful rendition. Well done, Perry. Well done, Perry. So. Wow, Pere, Pere, re, re, re. <laughs> oh, Yes, we got it, we got it, we got it. What I liked about your performance was the genuineness, the, 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 the realness of the emotion of everything that you were singing. I see it as the proposal song yes. for the season for and for a long time. It is an excellent proposal song. And as you know, it was nice. I loved all your transitions. You always transition so easily. But what was interesting also was that as playful as it was, it was so deep. It was so deep. There was the, the, everything you said was so real. Yes, there would be good times, there'd be fantastic yes. times, but there will be hard okay. times, and you're ready to go through it together, and you will give her your last piece of me. Yes! <laughs> I thought that was absolutely wonderful. Well done. Very good. Very good. Are you sure you're going to give her a last piece of meat? Are you sure? I will. Give her the last piece of meat. <laughs> you will. <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, guys, we'll take a quick commercial break. When we come back, there'll be more where that came from. Stay with us. All right, welcome back. Now, before the break, we heard from winner Kite and Per, and I must say we have amazing songwriters here this season. But now our next performance is going to be coming from Elizabeth. And she... And she is going to be singing her own personal composition called Start Again. Hello, wonderful people. It's your girl, Elizabeth. And tonight, I'll be performing a song I wrote by myself. Sometimes in life, you feel alone. Even when you're not on your own. You just wish that life wasn't such a trip. I titled it Start Again. Yeah, there are times when you just want to give up and you feel there is nothing more to give to life. But tonight I'll be preaching hope to you and I hope I motivate you and you find that spot where you could actually start again and make things right for yourself. And um, after my performance tonight, I believe you guys will vote for me. You tell somebody to tell somebody to vote for me. And my face will be on this portrait and I'm going to join the league of the extraordinary champions. 
project fame has produced. Thank you very much. I love you. Judges, what did you think of her performance? Yeah, Elizabeth, you're so versatile. You know, you have, you do whatever you want with your voice. And the beautiful thing is that every time we discover you're doing something completely unexpected, but very beautiful. This is one more time at one of those cases, you know, like it's in a field of flowers. All of a sudden, you know how rare it is to have a black rose? Mm. You know how rare a black rose is? And then all of a sudden, you just pop up, you know, and you open up. So that's beautiful, really. I'm so, I'm so delighted to have discovered you opening up to us and sharing your beautiful gift. Thank you so much. Back 
spilled tea. What do you guys think? Ms. Iga, you're excited. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm so, I'm so excited. I like, let me, let me tell you what I like about your song. I like the fact that it's so different. Mm. It's not something that you would expect or were expecting. It's just something totally different. I like the fact that you like to think out of the box. Mm. This is so fresh. Yeah. I'm telling you, it sounds so fresh and it sounds very exportable. Yes. Look, look, girl, look. With this song, you've proven yourself to me. Yes. You are a shining superstar. I'm telling you. All right. Thank you, Elizabeth. She is a shining superstar indeed, and so is our next contestant. Now, coming up to perform is Okemute, and she is going to be singing her own personal composition titled Iyami. Hello, people. I'm going to be doing my personal composition titled Iyami. The song is about children that have been molested and children that have been maltreated. This song, I hope the song gets to you. I hope the song touches you after my performance and it makes you want to realize and say, wow, this girl is lovely. <laughs> Let's continue voting for her and have her face in this frame. And this song is dedicated to all the children out there that have no hope that think no one is watching them, that thinks no one is going to help them, just know that in, the, in this earth, there's always a law of karma, and the earth has the way of placing the karma on those that want to hurt you in any way. So just keep on having faith, okay? Thank you, love you.
I mean, absolutely astonishing. I think all of us are, you took us somewhere. Judges, what did you think of our performance? Okay, Mute. Some people are made stars. You were born a star. Do you know, for a second, I just wished from the start of the competition, people, you guys just sang your own song. That's how it felt. Your song didn't sound like, I'm not trying to water you down, it didn't sound like it was your song. It sounded like a soundtrack, a movie soundtrack. The technicality in your song is mind-blowing. As an artist, trust me, I can count few people in this industry that can do what you just did. Not many. I'm proud of you, and I pray that globally you shall be accepted. Amen. You killed it. I'm proud of you. Everyone in this building is proud of you. You are international standard. Yep. Ty. Yes. I'd like to add to what Praise has no. said. The good no. thing about what you've done tonight no. is that over the weeks, what you guys have done is that you have soaked in everything that you have been thought. Yes, Praise said that from the beginning of the uh, show, it would have been nice if you guys did your original performance. But I doubt if, you were, if, if it would have been this good. Because you guys have actually grown. You've learned how to emote, how to present yourself as not just ordinary singers, but superstars. Well done, well done. Faculty, what did you guys think? It was an emotional. Okay, Muti. You were magnificent. And I, exactly what Praise was saying was what I was thinking. I could see you in Wembley Stadium. Yeah. You. You know, you stood up there, so quiet, so poised. And then the voice that just came out of you. And it was just so, the pitch was just absolutely right. And you just delved into our emotions and you pulled yes. at every single up piece of our heart strings. Yes. I don't care where the balls fall, okay? For this competition, girl, I am grateful for having to have anything to do with this talent. Ah. I'm grateful. Wow. Thank you. Ms. Ige. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Ms. Ige, Uncle Ben. We're all blown away. Absolutely amazing and emotional performance. Okay, Mute, what you did on the stage is mind blowing. We're going to go for a quick commercial break. When we come back, we have one final performance. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Project Paint West Africa season nine. Tonight we have had an amazing night with performances from Winner, Kite, Pere, Elizabeth, and Okemute. We have one final performance of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Dakwa, who's going to be singing Labo. <laughs> What up, what up, people of West Africa? It's your favorite boy, Dako. Tonight, I'll be doing a song that was, that was composed by me, and it's titled Love O. Um, this song was inspired by the fact that love is actually real. There are some people who believe that love is not real. So I'm trying to tell them that love is real. There's, there's always this person you can spend your time, you want to spend your time with, you want to spend all your money with, you want to rob body with, you want to take everywhere. So I think that this song is for those people. And I believe with this song, you guys can make me join 
the Justice League of winners here and make me the proud winner of season nine. That's what's up. Michael. Another round of applause for Dapo. With a swag on. 
That's what's up, man. Right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Judges, what did you think? Fun. All right. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Mr. Das, what's up? That's what's up, man. Right? <laughs> Well, it's good to see how well you've matured, you know. Um, I remember when we started this competition, you know, you used to sound like, I don't know whether your voice was slightly distuned or something, you sounded like a it's baby, growing, you know, but growing, now, you know, you've actually grown so nicely. <laughs> you've grown so nicely, you know, you're more confident, you know, you're more um, expressive as well. You know, every week when you come on stage, you know, you make it... You know, you get better and better and better. We're so proud of you. We're yes. very, very excited yes. about you. Well done, well done. And most importantly, I'd like to, um, for all the compositions this yes. evening, we would like to say uh, a very big thank you to Kobam Sasupo, who actually arranged the musicality of everything you've seen tonight. Bro, wherever you are, salute. Yes. <laughs> awesome stuff. Picking a cue from there, that's the reason why Kobams is extraordinary. And he's sharing his gifts with the youths of today. Dapo, you have added, you've bagged a song to this generation. And that makes you one of the shining stars also. We're proud to have you in season nine. That's what's up. That's what's season up. nine has been absolutely amazing. Ultima yeah. Studios have been absolutely amazing. MTN, thank you for at least sustaining this. That is what happens. Yeah you know, when they believe in the youth. Um, all of you out there, um, our fans, everybody voting, your turn is coming. Yes. Truth is, I mean, pick a lesson from this. This is the only thing that makes the world go round now. Yes. You're a great export, brother, and we can't wait to see your album. Well done. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. what's up. That's there what's you up. have it. All of our That's performances for tonight. Our six finalists, winner, Kite, Okemute, Pere, Elizabeth, and Dapo. Their personal compositions and evergreen covers are available as Color Tunes on MTN Color Tunes platform. Now this is the penultimate show, ladies and gentlemen, and tomorrow we'll find out who the winner is. Even though our Super Six are all champions, and they will be three runners up, of course. We'll find out who West Africa has voted as the winner of Project Fame West Africa season nine. I'm glad, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to knowing. You what, know. you're tired of Project Fame, Joseph? Yeah. Do you have any favorites right now? Why are you asking me that on stage? Yeah, put you on the spot. Who do you think is going to win? I don't know. Do you know? No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, speaking of which, we hear that Uncle Praise has a very special announcement regarding something very special. So over to you, Praise. Getting married. Nah. Um, I think I would like um, the six contestants to be on stage, if you don't mind. All right, can we have the six of them back on stage? Round of applause for them. <laughs> How are you guys doing tonight? Um, first of all, I'd like to say um, thank you very much to Ultima. Thank you very much to MTN for changing the lives of millions, I must say. I'm a product of change. And these amazing people, too, are a product of change, basically. And um, I'd like to say congrats to you guys how far you've come in this competition. Out of thousands of people who auditioned, you got to the, you got to the final. For me, this is... Uh, a historic moment in my career, from being a contestant to being a judge. And I want to give back. The person who wins, first of all, you are all winners. The person who wins this season of MTM Project Fame 9.0 would, would go with me on an all-expense-paid trip to South Africa with me, courtesy of my friends at South African Tourism. So, people out there, keep voting, please. God bless you. Um, okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Praise. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. That's what's up. Thanks, guys. Um... Okay, praise. Really? 
I, Joseph is upset at you, Fred. Really? That's what this is. Really? <laughs> really? We, we don't get to go? Just a winner? Dude, we've been doing the whole season together. Really? Come on. Where's the love, Fred? Wait, hey, come on. All right. Thank you, Fred. Very, very well kind done, gesture. Bro from you. Now, aside from what Praise is offering, a trip to South Africa, <clears throat> we also have amazing grand prizes up for grabs this season. First up, we have two million naira for the third runner-up. That's right, and two million naira and a brand new saloon car for the second runner-up. The first runner-up is gonna go home with three million naira and a mid-sized saloon car. And the winner of Project Fame West Africa season nine will have five million naira, a brand new SUV and a recording contract worth millions of Naira. That's a whole lot up and offer. Who will the winner be? We don't know, but we are all eager to find out tomorrow. Because it is the last show of the season where the contestants will one more time perform their best songs of the season for your listening pleasure. It's gonna be epic. And you really don't want to miss it for anything in the world, guys. So up until then, we say goodnight from every one of us here good at Ultimate Studios. See you, See you tomorrow, guys tomorrow at the grand finale. Yeah.